my name is aman and i am a data scientist the channel you are watching is known as unfold data science in this channel my intention is to make data science concepts very simple and clear for you especially the basic concepts if we talk of basic concepts there is one concept known as cross validation some of you were asking about this concept in my live and in my through comments as well right so we will understand what is cross validation why is cross validation needed what are the different types of cross validation and how to do cross validation in python that is what i am going to make very clear for you in this video let's start the discussion now to understand cross validation let us take the example of a real world scenario let us say some of your friends go to watch a movie right and then your friends come back let's say five people went then your friends come back and you know you ask one of your friend how was the movie maybe that particular friend is a fan of that particular actor who was in that movie right he may give a biased opinion okay then what you do you just ask the other friend hey how was the movie what you are doing here is nothing but reassuring how was the movie this is nothing but cross validation how to understand that in the context of data science let's try to understand let's say in your data there are 100 records okay 100 records in your data so you must be aware by now that what you typically do you break this data into a ratio of 70 30 or 80 20 you train your model on this 70% and you test your model on this 30% why you do that you have to do that because you have already trained your model here but you want an assurance that your model is good how do you assure yourself that your model is good by giving the model some unseen data which is the unseen data for this model the data which was not part of the training right which means this 30% of the data when you expose your model to the unseen data then what you are trying to observe is how is the model's behavior when it is exposed to a new data and that point gives you the confidence the confirmation that your model is good in your movie scenario when you ask many people about the review of the movie then you get an assurance that the movie was good right this is the typical approach of doing the validation of a machine learning model but there are other approaches as well what we discussed now is known as the basic validation approach this is approach number 1 all of you must be aware of this now is there a better way of doing things than this of course there is the first way is known as lococv lococv stands for leave one out cross validation leave one out cross validation now imagine in your data first of all what was the problem with the previous approach the problem with previous approach is when you broke your data in 70 30 then 30% of your data or 30% information of your data you are not using for model training machine learning is all about learning from the data so more and more data you give to your model your model can learn better if you take 30% out then your model learning capability decreases that was the problem with previous approach in leave one out cross validation what we do is we keep all the records in training apart from just one record out what is the meaning of this you have 100 records let us say randomly 84th record is kept out and on all those 99 records model is trained and model is tested on 84th record this is iteration 1 in next iteration let us keep 8th record out from the training so model will get trained on all 99 records apart from this 8th record so what is happening here is model is getting 99% of data to learn the pattern from that is the positive aspect of this approach what is the negative aspect the negative aspect is since you are keeping just one record out for the testing so there is a high possibility that your model will have high variance what is the meaning of high variance your model might do good on the train data which means your train accuracy will be good but when you expose it to the unseen data that is just one data point then your model accuracy might come down significantly that is called high variance of the model that is the problem with lococv 
so what LOCV is solving is it is considering all the data it is learning pattern from almost all the data but it suffers the problem of high variance what is the next approach all of you would have heard of something known as k fold cross validation right so what is k fold cross validation k fold cv so in k fold cv k stands for an integer let's say in our case for simplicity k is 10 okay so what will happen in this approach is the 10 buckets of data will get created from this main data 10 buckets of data will get created from this main data randomly selected so there will be how many records in each bucket 10 records in each bucket let us call that bucket 1 bucket 2 bucket 3 up to how many how many buckets will be created bucket 10 right now what will happen in k fold cross validation is there will be 10 iterations in first iteration your model will get trained on bucket 1 to bucket 9 and bucket 10 will be used for testing right in next iteration your model will get trained on bucket 1 to bucket 8 plus bucket 10 and bucket 9 will kept for testing similarly in next iteration everything apart from bucket 8 in next iteration everything apart from bucket 6 so what is happening here is one bucket is kept out of the training set and model is trained on the rest of the data what is the advantage here there are two advantages from the previous LOCV approach first advantage is model is using all the data that is for sure because all the data is becoming part of the training at some or other point of time the next approach is model will not suffer the high variance problem because first of all the size of these buckets is more in previous case the size was only one record here the size is 10 records also when this process is repeated many times I, I talk about 10 iterations here then your models variance will come down that is the good thing about k fold cross validation typically we keep the size of k as 10 right this approach we take in many times many machine learning deep learning models so it is very important for you to understand how k fold cv works just keeping one bucket out training on the rest of the data simple and then it will give you a model with good bias variance you know balance let us move to the next approach before that what is the problem with k fold cv can you think through i'll tell you one problem so in your data let us say your target column assume that we are solving a classification scenario here your target column has a distribution of 80 percent and 20 percent okay of both the classes now when these buckets are randomly created right there is less possibility that in all these buckets this ratio of the target variable will get maintained that is the problem with k fold cross validation and if this ratio does not get maintained then what will happen model might have a biased you know learning from some of the iterations okay to overcome this problem there is an approach called stratified cross validation or stratified sampling okay so if you do stratified approach then what will happen is just one advantage on top of k fold cv it will maintain the ratio of the you know in features whatever ratio of your data is there that ratio will get maintained in all these buckets it might not get maintained 100 percent but it will be closer to that that is the good point about stratified cross validation these are the cross validation techniques that we discussed now i have a very simple question for you which you have to answer me in comment all these methods which we discussed normal method locv k fold stratified are applicable for other data sets than time series data so what is a time series data a time series data can look like this so stock price of your favorite stock right so stock price of your favorite stock at 9 am at 10 am at 11 am at 12 what is the price of your favorite stock at this this time so at every time interval the data is captured so you have to tell me through comment what would be the good way of cross validating this data or what would be the good way to create a train and test in this data because you must be knowing till now that if we take a random sample that does not suffice our purpose 
we want the model to learn the pattern of the data and then we want the model to tell me how good the fitting has happened so in time series if you randomly split the data then testing your model is going to be difficult so you have to tell me in comment how do you think this should be taken care how to implement these things i will give you the link of sql and particular package in description of this video you go to those links you will see some sample codes implemented you just see those codes it's very simple to understand i'm sure you will be able to understand if you have difficulty after that write me in comment i can create a separate video and show you how these things can be implemented in python any other comments you have write me in comment i'll see you all in the next video till then stay safe and take care